welcome back. We are doing the first product review of 2017. All right, so I'm going to be talking about the new Tardiest Contour version 3 palette. My beauty blogger buddies from Good to Glam, she was the one that gave me the scoop that this palette was coming out. And when I saw it, I was like, yes. So from the looks of the palette, to me, I was thinking, okay, this is version three. Seems like it's gonna be deeper for, you know, darker toned women. I was like, yes, awesome. Put it in the shopping cart, let's buy it. So here's the palette. I've had, I've been using this for about two weeks now. So all over Christmas break, going to parties, you know, just trying it out. So I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and give you guys my review. So not only am I going to be reviewing this, but I'm also going to compare it for you to the first one with Makeup Shayla. So if you're trying to figure out, oh, do I need this one? Is it worth it? Which one is better? I'm going to give you my honest thoughts. So first, we're going to do the demo first. So I already have on my makeup and everything. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. This is what the palette looks like. So you get these two bronzer shades right here. This is your contour, and you have two highlighters and a blush. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit so you can get a closer look on my face. So first things first here, I'm going to take my contour blush, my contour blush, my contour brush, and we're gonna dip right into this tone right here. It is potent, like it is so, so deep and make sure you definitely tap off your brush. Otherwise, you're gonna have way too much on your face and trying to blend this bad boy out when you put too much on, good luck. So let's see, I'm gonna go right here. I already, I don't have anything on. You can already see the natural contours on my face. So that's not anything that I've put on my face previously. It's not a cream, that's just this natural shadow. All right, so. See what I mean? That is strong. It is so easy to get heavy hand with this shade. So when I was editing, I realized I used such a light hand with this contour shade that you really couldn't see the pigmentation of it because I've been using this for so long. I for one know how potent this is. So I just didn't want anyone to be alarmed if they get it and then they put it on their face. They're like, whoa, it didn't seem like that when Amber used it. So I'm going to show you what this powder can do. All right. So just dipping it in, tap off. You guys see that? So this is why I go in with a lighter hand with this contour shade because it is potent. And this one, the darker one here, is just a little bit hard to blend out. So I'll do it again on this side. I also recommend using a smaller brush because as y'all can see, this is getting all over my face. So just be mindful of that as well. You go. I just hate giving you guys false information. So you guys can see just how pigmented this is and it's just a little bit hard to blend out. So if you do get it and you use it, it can be used. Just make sure you use a very, very light hand. All right. And if you guys are interested in seeing my review on the Makeup Shayla palette, just click above and I'll drop it below so you can see then what I do is I don't take any more. I just, whatever's left over on my brush and then I just kind of hit my forehead. Then I'll go up and do my nose slightly. Now, I feel like for me, this is a little strong on my face. So what I do next is I'll take one of the bronzer tones. Now here's how I feel about the bronzer tones. I feel like if this palette was originally made for deeper toned women, this is not going to bronze anything. So in comparison to the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer, these two aren't hitting on anything. Now if you're lighter than me, it'll work for you. And the other thing about these bronzers, they do have a little bit, no, they have shimmer in them. So if you're someone that doesn't like shimmer, you won't like it. All right, so I like to take this one, the deeper of the bronzer. And I just kind of use that just to kind of blend out that contour because it is legit, y'all. I'm gonna grab a denser brush just to really blend it out. All 
All right, next up, we're gonna go into this blush tone, which I love. I feel like this is a great intro to blush as far as the shade goes. It is perfect so for someone who maybe is a little bit scared of blush or you're just not that sure about it. It gives you just what you need. It's not too much and it's nice and subtle, but it just adds, turns up your makeup look just by a little bit. A little flush of color. All right, then next up, we're gonna jump into the highlighter. Now, I'm not a fan of highlight, so my disclaimer right there. These two highlighters are very, very bright. They're a little too bright for my cup of, cup of tea. There's the first one, well, the one in the center, and then here's the second one. So as you can see, those are pretty bright. Um, I do feel like this one, you get a lot of fallout and it is way more chunkier. So I'm gonna take this one here and tap. Yeah, that's not exactly my cup of tea, but if you are someone who's into highlighter, of course, knock yourself out. I would never personally use either one of these shades on my cheekbones, I would use them either as an all over lid color or an inner corner, whew, inner corner tear duct highlight. And same thing for these bronzers. Like if I just wanted like a nice shimmer on my eye, like a neutral tone, I would use those on my lid as well. That's the thing about these palettes, um, especially the Makeup Shayla one, you can use these for your face and your eyes, which is pretty awesome. And then this center tone right here, just for kicks and giggle, we're gonna go down the center of my nose sweet Jesus yes way too bright for me but it's okay gotta show you guys what it looks like all right so whoo, whoo, whoo. no 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 I got way too much all right so here is a close-up for you guys so you can see now I'm using the outs and we will compare so I will say right off the bat when I got this and I opened it up I was disappointed reason being was just simply because I always get excited when I see products I'm just like oh that's gonna be great for darker skin chocolate girls absolutely this shade right here this deep one is the exact same shade that is in the makeup Shayla palette so for that I was kind of like "Ooh, y'all played me or maybe maybe I just misunderstood so I personally feel like if you already have the Makeup Shayla palette, you don't need this. The reason being, I feel like with the Makeup Shayla palette, you get two options for contour. I would never use this as a contour. I never do because it's too dark for me and too strong. But this shade right here is perfect. So if you're my skin tone, this is going to be a great, you know, contour shade, but I also like the fact that you get two options with this one. Another reason why I like this palette so much is I love the blush, but you also get this yellow under eye setting powder, which is great for brightening. And then I love these two highlighters just simply because this one, if I put it on my face, it's okay. I'm not like, oh my gosh, it's too much. And then this center one is just right. It's perfect. It's like a nice champagne tone. Now for the version three palette, this is too dark. These bronzer tones right here, they're not going to do a thing for me but add more shimmer on my face. These are way too bright for my face. Again, I put them on my lid, but the blush tone, perfect. Love the blush. If you already have the Makeup Shayla palette, don't even bother with this one. I kind of feel like it's really, it's, it's not worth it to you if you already have the Makeup Shayla palette. Or let's say if you don't have either one of them and you want to figure out which one to get, I would definitely go with this one. Uh, once again, you know, you have the two options with the contour. You do have um, highlight options and then you have the under eye and then the blush tone is just gorgeous so those are my honest thoughts and opinions you know I'm just I am a little bit bummed out about this one but you know it's not a terrible palette by any means if you are someone who is a deeper skin tone than me this contour shade is going to look fantastic on you it's not too 
warm, not too ashy. It's just right, nice and neutral the way I like it, all right? So that is going to wrap up this product review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And really, really quick, if there's anything that you want me to do a product review on, I know someone um, recommended the Colored Rain eyeshadow palette the newest one I am still going to do that I'm just trying to get back into swing of things because I did take a little bit of time off just from the holidays and whatnot but let me know if there's anything that you're interested in seeing all right so I will see you guys in the next one